They're more than all right, Pepper. Because you and your friend brought them back to the coop, their eggs have now hatched. And we have little chicks. <gasps> little chicks? Yes. Do you want to see them? Yes, please, Granny. Show us the little chicks. Take a look for yourselves. They're sleeping in their little house right now. Go ahead. I'm a little chick singing cheek cheek cheek. I like to pick up food with my beak beak beak. I just like the yellow head and straw for my bed and I jump up and down singing cheek cheek cheek. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little chick singing cheek cheek cheek. I like to pick up food with my beak beak beak. I just like the yellow head and straw for my bed and I jump up and down singing cheek cheek cheek. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bull. What's going on here? Hello, family. Hello, children. We are in the middle of doing some repairs on this road. What happened to the old road? There were some bumps caused by the tree's roots nearby, which made it dangerous to drive through. Not to worry. Mr. Rhinoceros and I will take care of it. I'm sure you're very busy. We'd better be on our way. Hmm. Is there a way to go through? Oh, yes. You can drive right by the road. Be careful. Oh, I see. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Goodbye, Mr. Rhinoceros. Thank you for fixing the road. You have arrived at the playgroup, a place to learn and play with Pepper and her friends. that old, George. Dinosaur. Mm, it looks very nice. I think I would make a great queen. I would sit around all day and eat all <laughs> the ice cream I wanted. It appears that you and Pepper are now royalty and you can have anything you ask for. Is there anything you would like, your majesties? Yes, we 
want ice creams, please. Of course, Queen Pepper. I'm sure you would make a great Queen Pepper. Yes, George, it's a real dinosaur. One that lived many, many years ago. <laughs> dinosaur. Are you with us, George? Dinosaur! It seems that George has found his favourite room. Welcome, welcome. Are you here to join me on the trip to the moon? Jump aboard the rocket train. Mr. Rabbit is the tour guide. He knows a lot about the universe. Are we really going to the moon? No, Pepper. It's just pretend. That's right, Pepper. It's just a pretend moon. Now, all passengers, hold on tight to your seats. We're about to take off. Three, two, one, blast off! All right then, does anybody know what these things hanging from the ceiling are? Are they planets? Precisely. And do you know the name of the planets? Oh, um, not really. Oh, I know one, the Earth! Very good, Daddy Pig. This is the Earth, we also have Venus. Mars, Neptune. What's that? Ah, this is a satellite. Satellites fly around the world so we can have TVs and the internet. Really? But how do they do that? It's all magic. And we've reached the end. Please exit the rocket and continue to the next room where you'll see the moon. Welcome to the moon. Gravity on the moon is much weaker, so we can jump much higher. Ooh. The moon has less gravity than the Earth, which means you'd feel lighter and be able to jump higher. Try it out. Strap in and jump up.
It's a wonderful day to get some good views from up in the hot air balloon. Yes, please. Rabbit will take us up in the balloon, or we can keep following the forest trail. <laughs> <laughs> 